Well, this is one of several and countless examples of either homes or outbuildings completely destroyed in this fire. Here's a look at what's left of a fridge on this property. And right back here, we're still seeing many more hotspots like this one all around this area on Bald Rock Road. And let me just tell you, the families we spoke with out here today say this day has been absolutely heartbreaking. Driving through Berry Creek into a thick blanket of smoke, trees were still on fire and some had fallen into the middle of the road. Power lines were down too and home after home we passed in rubble. It's just like complete devastation. Nicole Wasik stayed up until two in the morning watching a trail camera set up right outside of her family's cabin, a property that has been in the family for more than a hundred years. But when she saw embers flying above the home, she had to turn away. But her sister Lindsay kept watching. I was the one that was staying up till like 2 30 in the morning just watching every picture come in and seeing every like frame of it just going from a house to a pile of ash as you can see around me here this property is a prime example of what creating a defensible space should look like they kept the grass cut and the trees trimmed but still it wasn't enough and with this firestorm the power of the wind is just mother nature there's nothing you could have done their mom, Angela, and Aunt Heidi say the home can and will be rebuilt, but it's the sentimental value of this home, which hosted every holiday, birthday, and every major family event that they'll miss the most. It was my happy place and a lot of ours, it was our happy place. The only thing still standing, a sign saying rest area outside of the cabin. The reason why the sign is up was to remind you as you drive in, just take a load off and rest and just enjoy it. And being that the sign is still up, it's telling us it's going to be okay. We'll, we'll do it again. And the good news here is that this family was not home at the time of this fire, so they didn't have to evacuate. And they tell me they are already planning on rebuilding. Back mm -hmm. to you. Well, you know, my goodness, I'm just so happy that the family is okay. Uh, the terrible thing, though, is that they've lost all of their items. Uh, we are certainly thinking of them uh, as they go through this experience. Our Lena Howland reporting for us tonight. Lena, we thank you.